Team, thanks to your efforts, we've regained complete control of the Sentinel comm network, and strategic data is coming back online. We are now able to assess the invaders' tactical capabilities in detail, and track their movements across the entire planet. Alice, is your analysis complete? Displaying strategic information now. I'm showing a massive enemy fleet in Sector SK-6108. They're headed for Stratoport at high speed. Stratoport? No, it can't be. Alice, plot a course for Stratoport immediately. Maximum speed. Roger. Uh, uh, Nelson, bro? I don't suppose you could give us, like, the dumbed-down version of what's up? I, I mean, I'm down, but... Some of these guys aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. Indeed! I second this notion. Certain wonderful ones may not be so wonderful in grasping the peril at hand. The majority of the Geth Jerk invasion force is still held at bay by our hyperplasma shield Margarita, which is powered by super reactors positioned at five strategic locations across the planet. They've been carefully camouflaged to prevent the jerks from discerning their locations. But despite our efforts, the enemy is moving in to strike one of the reactors as we speak. Dude, this is bad. I mean, I knew, I knew it was bad all along, but hearing it all spelled out really brings it home. Oui! Each time I hear it, my ears stand on end. You don't think they've hacked the main Mother Platinum system, do you? No. There's no sign Mother Platinum has been compromised. Maybe this glorified smartphone leaked the information? Hmm, peace Without Margarita, Earth would already be lost. It was the brainchild of a brilliant young scientist, and without her sacrifice, it would never have been completed. We'll defend it with our lives. We owe her legacy that much. Huh? We've reached the target coordinates, decelerating to impulse speed. Tachyon radar shows a formation of stratospheric shuttles. I'm getting an encoded SOS from the group. Long-range camera feed on screen. They're under attack! Those jerks. We can't lose those shuttles. Wonderful 100, you need to get in there and save those shuttles. The Virgin Victory will handle any enemy air power. Roger! Team, fall in! Roger. Team, unite up. Roger. Supposed to be in sick bay. Huh? How do you know my name? Uh, cause that's what the other kids at school call you? You all patched up, sweetie? I was nothing, just a scratch. Hey, you guys are gonna go fight those aliens, right? I know you can't do it alone. I'll go with you. Sorry, little dude. Ankle biters and firefights don't mix. What? I know I can do this. I know I can. Take me with you. No means no. And no. No way. Better run home to mama now, kid. How am I supposed to get home, huh? Flap my arms and fly? Besides, my mom and dad are gone. Oh, snap. <laughs> Look, there's no time to argue. Luca's coming with us. Dude. 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 Electra played him with a tiny wonder mask. Uh, an extra tiny one. Everyone else, cover Luca. T. 
team. Let's move. Roger. Contraption before nap time. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Jiminy Christmas. Don't you kids know how to save an old man proper like? Sorry, mister. Oh, it's you. Professor, my dear professor, it has been so long. Eccentric as always, I see. Now get, get. Professor, what are you doing aboard the shuttle? Why are you always asking questions you already got answers for? Them jerks are after a super reactor in the Stratoport. I was just taking some of my creations over to protect the reactor. Why is it always protect and defend? Why can't we just take the fight to them? Just cut some bigwig alien's head off and say, see you later, bye bye Come on. Ah, Blue, I advise restraint. The geezer, he does not take well to critique. Who you calling geezer, Baguette? Anyhow, if and you could hold your horses for the 24 hours we need to keep that reactor going, then we can bring them all the tarnation you want. Dude, that a promise? I'll fill you in on the details once you've completed your mission. Now, my stuff's in the cargo bay of shuttle number one. Y'all need to grab it and get it into the stratoport. That shuttle goes down, and our gooses is cooked. Roger. Team, let's move. Roger. Roger.
Even your sentinel suits won't last long against the gas. Roger. Team, let's move. Roger. Oh, whoa, 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 oh! Well, where am I? Well, look what the cat dragged in. Ah, you are all so late. <clears throat> this time, I have been waiting. Uh, you're the late one, comrade. Where the heck have you been? I, uh, Commander Nelson orders me to be bodyguard for Professor following invasion. <laughs> I fight alone. Many battles waiting for you. Commander Nelson ordered you here? Amazing. He anticipated the enemy's movements perfectly. But uh, soon after I get here, I get lost. Then I find myself wandering. Alone. It is very lonely up above ceiling. Yeah, what happened to guarding the professor? Well, don't you be looking at me. I have the foggiest notion old Yeller was even on board. And also, on the way to airport to come here, I get lost. I almost miss plane, but then I board plane. Barely. Whatever happened, happened. Right now we need your help, Mr. Ivan Eschenikov. A.K.A. the Hammering Ruski, Special Combat Agent, Siberia Field Office, Sentinel's Planetary Secret Service, Wonder Yellow! It is my honor to serve, Captain. My life is not even worthy of being yours. But, but it is yours. Uh, my life, that I, I'm so embarrassed. Less conversation, more action, comrade. I, indeed. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Wonder eyes, yellow!
Well done, team!